Welcome to Anthony's Cross Thread Garage. Uh, motor's still on the floor from where we pulled it from the Studebaker. Santa hasn't brought my front end yet. So, step away from this project because it still needs power wash and all that. And I don't know, but I do have parts for the toe pickle. Uh, today, I want to put some new ball joints in the front and actually lower the truck. It's not going to be extreme lower, just kind of just get it down to where it actually looks like a two-wheel drive truck. Uh, shackles for the back, spindles for the front, lower ball joints for the front. Let's see if I can't show you how to get these wheel bearings out without damaging them. The way I do them. So let's go ahead and get it in position, get it jacked up, and get it ready. All right. I think my battery's good this time. All right, get the truck jacked up. Gonna go ahead and uh, start taking the part. The assembly here, we're going to take caliper off, the ABS sensor, tie rod, before we get down to the ball joints and everything. So let's go ahead and start getting after it here. Now, if you're ever doing just ball joints on a, a truck like this, don't unbolt your sensor down here. You're going to be in a long, for a long day. Uh, wheel burn rushed around the O-ring locks it in there you can't get it out you break it you go to the parts store ain't got they end up buying a 250 fifty dollar wheel bearing it's just as easy just to take off and unplug the sensor and just let it come off with the wheel bearing take the bracket apart either. Take the caliper and bracket off as one whole assembly. Whatever you do, don't let this drop. If this thing falls off, it's gonna screw up the whole hose. Let's see if we can get it all the way to the ground. Oh, there we go. Maybe I won't show you the trick on this one. It's coming off pretty easy. There, wheel bearings out, dust shield's off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and loosen my upper ball joint here. All right, get that loose. I like to leave this top part on until I get this busted loose down here. That way it's not flopping all over the place. But we'll go ahead and knock this loose. There, it's loose. Now the reason I'm taking this off because this kit has uh, dropped spindles. The spindles will sit lower than the factory ones by two inches. There we go. 
All right, now she's removed. We're gonna pop, press our ball joint out. This one here, I don't think it's crimped in like the new ones. Instead of beating your guts out or however some of you guys do your ball joints. You can rent a tool from the store. Of course, I got my own for, because so I did it for a living. But all it is is just a big old C-clamp, basically. Get your right adapters on it. This one here is impact friendly also. broke my tool. Well, I guess I want to beat this one out the rest of the way. There. No one out. But it broke my tool. So now I'm going to have to beat the other side out. That's great. Here's my new one. Find the right cup that fits it. Just things in my way. Hey, right, we'll lift that up so we can get in there. Make sure you always grease your new parts because they may have some assembly grease in them, but they don't have a lot of grease in them. Grease that they need. Alrighty. All right, let's jump over to our spindle now. As you can see the difference in them. The black one, of course, is what we're going to be putting on. It's going to lower this front end about two inches. Which I don't think is going to be too much. It's going to look like an old two-wheel drive truck instead of a four-wheel drive truck. So let's go ahead and start getting that reassembled. A little lube in there it never hurts. <sighs> I 
Now tighten up these upper control arm bolts can be a pain sometimes because the ball joint just wants to spin. Best way to deal with that is pry it down into its socket there and kind of wedge it. Well, I'm wedging machine going. Well, that don't work. We need to take the impact to her. Of course, I don't trust that battery impact getting anything tight. In terms of suspension. So. Give her one last tug with the wrench. Let's get a bit of wheel bearing in. All right, well, we'll just shield the back. We're just gonna hold on here. Revisit this lesson. All right, now let's get this shield on right. Like I said, there's a bunch of variables between the dust shield or the knuckle with the bearing. Make sure you start all your bolts before you tighten them up. That way, they all get good threads started. Hi, blog. Blog? Yep. Well, technically, it'd be a vlog. Video logging. Go ahead and put our brand new brakes back on. Pretty sure she's way out line, which should be expected with eBay ports. And changing the geometry of your suspension. Let's get this tire on, make sure we get clearance. It doesn't sound like we do. That's not good. That's great. Doesn't have any. Doesn't say anything about the wheel size on this kit. But it appears these won't work. Yeah, get them locked up. That's good. <coughs> so I don't know if I need 17s or 20s or. As you can see, that little bow joint's right up against that wheel. Good thing that was in the uh, instructions. That's part of the. Uh, it's always good when you buy Chinese stuff from eBay. No instructions, no guidelines. Just like, hey, this will do this, kind of. China wins again. China always wins with me because I'm too cheap. I don't know. I need to get the other side done. Anyhow, it's already sitting here in position. Right, it just sits here like kickstands or whatever. I'm gonna leave it the way it is and just let it down. Jump on Facebook here real quick before I start on the other side and see what I can find. Got the other side done. That's what it looks like so far. I gotta do the shackles next. Only problem is with the front, I need wheel spacers or bigger wheels. I looked on Facebook. Didn't see anything in my area I could snatch up today or tomorrow. Uh, so talked to one of my friends they said they had a couple wheel spacers so hopefully maybe i'll get those and that way i can drive it if not i guess i'm ordered now on off ebay so i can move it but now i'm going to try to do these drops uh shackles on the rear 
we got them sprayed down get the trailer hitch removed so this should be fun since the bed's still on it and i'm not on a lift and all that good stuff so i'm gonna grab my great big ratchet and get underneath there and start cranking all right let's get this big ratchet on here see what happens oh, i ain't got the room for a gun easy enough that's good it's not stuck at the bush hmm take it off my fingers oh this one here got me a little concerned it's not spinning yet the top bolts got me concerned but the end of these factory bolts are 10 millimeters so I can try to turn it here from the outside with my big ratchet Let's see if it spins in the bush or not and it doesn't that's great this project might turn into i don't know what something bad now what we have to do is get these lure bolts out and then drop the truck low enough to where i can get a socket in between the bed and the frame and try to bust those loose out of the bushings and if they don't come loose with a couple of hits of uh, the impact uh, so it's going to be time to start heating. Well, let's get to the fun part. Ugh. That's not going to be fun at all. Well, this cribbing block's too big, so let's cut her down. Well, maybe. See if we get down here, I have to work on it. All right, let's keep coming down. Since I got a safety stand now, or jack stand, or whatever. Well, I'm not going to play no games with it. I'm going to get straight to heat. So I know how these things are. You don't use heat, they don't round it off, and then it still won't move. So let me get some heat and some spray. All right, well, I'm going to use an electrical inducer to heat just the bolt. So I don't toast my loose the bushing and the spring. This is only a this is a cheap tool, anyone can get. It's only about $700. Woo so, put it on there and pull the trigger. Now, for whatever reason, when you heat it like this with this tool, it will actually suck a lot of the penetrating oil into it. Using this is safer too. The torches don't get an open flame. You're not catching that rubber on fire. Just heating the metal is all it does. Electronically. By magic. I don't know what kind of magic, but magic. There you go. They're bushing damage. Only problem is them. Stuck between a rock and a hard spot. Cut the bolt out without it damaging the bushing or the bolt. Here's the old shackle and here's the new drop shackle. 
if you can maybe see the difference. So I'm gonna try to get the other one out same way I did the other one. And I'll show you installing these and we'll see what it looks like after that. Well, as you can see, I'm losing light. I cannot get this other bolt freed up. I've heated it and I've heated it and I've beat and I've twisted. That's a one jack win, which was pretty easy. Well, this one is not being easy. Well, I'm not sure I'm running out of time for tonight. I don't know if I'm going to pull the whole spring off this truck while it sits here or what. But right now, right now, right now we're going to give her some love with the uh, impact. Well, that means I got to take the whole leaf spring out. Wonder how easy those bolts are going to come out. Not. Huh. Pretty amazing. Try to get this last one off. Maybe this bolt comes off easy enough. This one's stuck too. But I can get that one. Oh, this one's stuck too. That's good. That's great. Back down on the ground for one more. Wham. That's right. I gotta start cleaning up. I'll start waking up the neighborhood here for no reason. Oh shit. Yeah, it's working. There, I brush the piece of shit out.
And this is how an eight hour project turns in three days. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I try to get my breath with me. Anyway, yeah, this bolt is seized in the bush. And you see where rust stuff is, where I heat it. See where it's bent, or I was twisting on it, and I'll come loose. I do not have a replacement bushing. I'm about to get one of those. The springs themselves look fun. Then, of course, the bolt's trash. So, I don't know. I'm just gonna clean up for tonight. It's enough nonsense. We already kill over here. Whew. All right. <clears throat> gonna try to do a final push on this. Try to get done for today. Merry Christmas, by the way. So we got the old bolt out. Now I need to drill this. Try to get the. Well, same bolt to fit back through right now. It's kind of still created with rust there. I'm going to keep on trying to, we'll try to drill it out here. Oh, rust and build up in there. Some black shit. Uh, looks like we got it. I don't have a bench grinder wire wheel, so I'm just going to use a drill wire wheel here. Get this thing cleaned up. It's hard where it looks awful, where this bolt looks awful. So we're just going to go ahead and spray it with some lube and ignore it. I'm trying to get that leaf spring up in position. Do, 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 do. Alright, I'm trying to manhandle this spring into place. Oh, yeah. Oh, ground gets wet. Cold. Bear and snow or constant rain. Oh, 
Glory to Jesus. All right. Center pin is in. Now the other bolts are laying, lining up, which is good. Good free bolt. And you see how far off we are on that? I don't know. Tighten up these U-bolts down here and see. I get the whole rear in the move, or at least snug up the U-bolt. I don't lose that center pin position. I still think it's going to be harder to get in. You can see what I'm doing, talking about. Yeah, this is way off here. So I'm going to drop the uh, back down here. You guys watch and see if it moves the right way. But I'm, I don't know, I've got to pop this thing in neutral or something. I don't know. I pushed it up, but that made me fast. There it is. You know, thread the start. Oh, really? Oh, I hate doing this on Christmas, but it's going to rain the rest of the week and then snow. And... This project done. Man, my neighbors ain't gonna be happy when I start hitting this air gun. Alright, well. See my new shackle there? I don't know, I might hit the bed. We'll find out later. Just gonna go ahead and tighten this stuff up. Then I'll sit down and we'll see what it looks like. Alrighty, the two pickle is lowered, is done. It's a Christmas miracle. I think it looks pretty good so far. Have to, uh, I may have to jack the back end back up, depending on how it looks when I hook to a trailer. Because I really don't want to be dragging that rear. Uh, didn't put the hitch back on yet. Uh, buddy gave, got me some spacers. So if I need to move this thing, I can get them away from the ball joints. Uh, bad part about buying stuff off ebay you get it cheap but there's no instructions or no guidance you if it looks like it works and you just gotta try it uh i found some newer model 20s on the old face base so i'm gonna try to pick those up maybe tomorrow i already got the wheel adapters coming in for the newer style wheels to go on here may i get those wheels on there get the hitch back on there on the next time uh, as soon as Santa gets off his fat butt and brings me his the front end for the Studebaker, then we'll get back on it. I still got more things to do to this. I got to do some work to the transmission. I need to change the old manifolds, dumb stuff. But right now, I think she looks pretty good. Uh, some people don't like these lowered trucks. Well, I do. So if you're looking to lower your three-quarter ton, there you go. Here's a video for you. So... Until next time. Bye. What are you doing, bud? Slide right in the mud. Oh, for God's sake. You can get down the mountain, blow it like a breeze. Country road, take me home. To the blaze, I belong, West Virginia.
Virginia Mountain Mama Oh, take me home Count the road 